Hey y'all, what's up? It's Mike and I want to welcome y'all to another review. I'm really excited about today because I have something with me that I've been waiting to be developed for a really long time. Some of you may or may not remember, you can go back to some of my older videos, but uh, for all my mobile filmmakers out there, I did a review of one of my favorite gimbals at the time, which was the Gion Smooth 4. And it's still up there for you guys to check out, but it was just um, something I wanted to put up to give mobile filmmakers and photographers some other options on getting smooth shots and and, and uh, the Gion Smooth 4 worked great. It works great, but I've been waiting a really long time for uh, someone to come out with a gimbal that's even more compact and even more lightweight and just the ease of use was even easier. So I was waiting in the mail for a little while and it finally arrived and this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 and it's incredible. So I'm actually really excited about this gimbal. I mean, as much as it is the same, it's very different than some of the other mobile gimbals that I've used. And there's some new features in this gimbal which actually make it really cool. Um, it supports a max phone screen size of 7.8 inches, uh, has a rubberish grip for greater comfort, tilted handle for more natural hold, and 15 hours of battery life. As a folding design, even with the phone attached, it reintroduces trigger control to the front phone port access now for uh, portable charging so you can film and charge a phone directly from the gimbal at the same time it has usb type c charging for the gimbal itself so no more micro usb i'm glad we're moving past that and it has a much simpler setup for the balance process this gimbal also features hand gesture control shape recognition syncs up with multi-mode DJI MIMO app. So you download the app and you can unlock all the features that come on the gimbal itself. It has Active Track 3.0 technology, sport mode, time-lapse, hyperlapse, panorama modes, redesigned handle ports, and all of this at an affordable price. So let's open this thing up and see what it is. All right, so cut this thing open here. plastic off of this. Get rid of that stuff there. Let's get to it there. Cut that open. Alright. Let's go for it. Let's see. And this is your gimbal. Now right off the back you can see the size of the gimbal compared to my hand. You can see the size of the gimbal compared to my hand. It's basically the size of my hand. Your hands fit in your pocket, and this thing will fit right into your pocket. And this is your DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Now, I don't want to break this. Oh, here we go. It's that simple. Just flip it up. Wow. That was really easy. Oh, here we go. I'll put that right there. And now, let's see what else is in the box. You have in this smaller box. Okay. So we have USB Type C cable. We have a wrist strap, which is awesome. Um, it seems really, seems like not a big deal, but when you're out doing these mobile shoots and you're out with your gimbal, something, especially something this small, the easiest thing is to just have it strapped to your wrist. So when you're moving around and doing different things, um, you don't have to worry about it falling out of your hands. I mean, it seems like a, something that's not that big a deal. Like you just hold it in your hand and it's no big deal. But trust me, when you're running and gunning and you're going, you can very easily, for, you can put it down somewhere and forget where you put it down. So having it just strapped onto your wrist makes things a whole lot easier. Um, So this comes in handy. USB Type-C. So DJI is definitely with the program. And is this the pouch? This is the... I always have a hard time opening stuff. I don't know what the hell... I think I'm just too aggressive or something. And this is the carrying pouch, DJI Osmo. So 
So yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes into it. It also came with some grips for your handle. So you can put these little sticker things onto uh, the handle where you're gonna be gripping the handle and it'll just give you a, a, a better grip, you know. So if you wanna add that on there, you can. If not, you know, that's cool too. But yeah, so it's a nice gray tone. From the box, it looks like it was black. It looked like it was black, but it's actually gray. Um, I don't know if they come in other colors or if they're gonna make them in other colors. I thought that they had it in white, but it seems like right now it's only in gray. Um, white would have been nice just to have something different. I feel like all of my all of my equipment is like either black or gray. So it would be nice to have some other colors to choose from. That would have made it really cool. You have your buttons here for multi-functions. Now, in a bit, I'm gonna actually go out. I'm gonna I'm gonna read the manual. I'm gonna go out with this in a in a bit and I'm gonna do some test shoots and we're gonna really see what the functionality of this thing is. Um, right now I'm just unboxing it and just seeing what it's all about. Um, if I had to just look at it and guess, this looks like, you know, your thumb control for movement. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought it was on for a second because it was actually moving everywhere. I was I was pushing the thing. But yeah, this seems like your thumb controller for uh, you know, panning and tilting. Uh, you have a record button right there. You just hit that and it'll just automatically record. I'm, I'm assuming when you um, Bluetooth connect to your phone. Um, zooming in and out. And not quite sure what that button is for yet, but we will find out. Oh, I just hit it and it just started lighting up. So I don't know. We will see. But yeah, one thing that's really cool about this now, if you remember when I did my review for the Xeon Smooth 4, that gimbal's a little bit bigger. And this is a this is actually pretty odd. Well, I wouldn't say odd, but it's just it's interesting. That gimbal's a little bit bigger. And in order to uh, utilize that gimbal with my phone with a lens attached to my phone, I had to buy a counterweight to put on the side of the gimbal so that it, it balances everything out because the lenses that I put on my phone were too heavy. So um, apparently with this new gimbal here, you don't even have to have a counterweight. Um, the, the motors inside are strong enough to support the weight of your phone with a lens on it or a filter on it or whatever it is that you're gonna add onto your phone. So that's really cool. If you look right here, you have the USB type C port for the cable so that's good for charging but it's also good for charging your phone so while you're shooting you can actually charge your phone straight from the gimbal itself and that's really cool so yeah not heavy at all you could actually walk around with this in your hand all day long and it would feel like nothing It's super light so we're gonna take this out we're gonna you know test it out we're gonna test out all the different functions uh, within the gimbal itself through the app and we're gonna go from there so i'll see y'all in a bit peace so what's up y'all we're out here and i just want to give you guys a quick run through of how you're going to go about balancing your gimbal once you have your gimbal set up, the first thing you want to do is balance your phone. So the easiest way to do this is to have a mini tripod. I don't have a mini tripod at the moment, so I'm using my Joby, the Gorilla Pod right here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to unlock your gimbal like that. Take your phone and mount your phone onto the gimbal like this right here like that now the main goal is to get your phone to kind of stay like this and be balanced like this without you touching it so you hold the arm of the gimbal right here and you're gonna slide and adjust your phone like this until it's balanced like that and you're gonna turn your phone like that and you see when I turn it straight up like this it starts slanting over and falling over to the side you want to take your take the arm of the gimbal which is right here 
on the back and push it out until it doesn't fall over when you let go. So you just want to keep adjusting it. See, now it's standing still. So now both the X and the Y axis is balanced. No matter how you turn it, it's balanced. And what that does is it gets your phone to a balanced place when the motor is off of, on the gimbal. So that way when you turn the motor on on the gimbal, it doesn't have to do so much work to keep your phone stable and to keep it balanced because you already did a lot of work for it. So that's going to save a lot of battery power because you're, 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 uh, the motor isn't working too hard. And it's going to also make sure that uh, when, the, when the motor is on, that the phone is at a balanced place. So right now, if I take the phone off of the uh, tripod here and I hold down this button right here, it's balanced. You double click the power button and it turns sideways. If you double click it again, it goes into portrait mode. Video mode portrait mode right so right here on the side you have the charger port for the gimbal it uses USB type C charging there's a port here so USB port here on the side and you use this to charge your cell phone so you can actually be charging your cell phone from the gimbal while you're recording and while you're shooting this flap right here is extremely hard to open probably because I bite my nails and my nails are horrible but for all of those nail biters out there you're gonna have a hard time lifting this strap up but I think even if you don't bite your nails it's it's really it's it's like it's the rubber on it is super strong and it's really hard to open so that's a little bit annoying anyway you use this port here you can charge your cell phone while you're shooting which is great for on-the-go shoots because then you don't have to stop in the middle of your shoot to uh, charge your cell phone you can just charge it directly from the gimbal so that's really cool and some of the other functions on the gimbal itself is you have the joystick right here that you can control with your thumb it'll turn the phone left to right let me put it back on video mode it'll turn the phone from left to right i have it on slow so it's turning really slow right now but you can see it's turning left to right really slowly i'm gonna take it off of that in a minute All right you have your record button right here which is also used to take portraits and take photographs and then back here you have the back triggers. This back trigger right here is the locking trigger. So if you notice, when I pan the phone to the right or I pan it to the left or I tilt it up, tilt it down, the gimbal is going in the same direction. But if I hold this back trigger right here, it'll stay locked and it won't move up. It won't pan left or right. It won't tilt up or down. If I double click, it'll go back to its start point. So double clicking is like the reset button for the gimbal. So. You can use this feature by tilting the phone up. Say there's something on the top, say there's something up top that you wanna shoot, you tilt the phone up. And if you wanna hold that position, you hold the back trigger and it will lock the phone in that position. So even if you bring the gimbal back down, it's still facing up. If you wanna reset it, just double click, it'll bring it back. If I go on the DJI app, there's so many features that can be utilized with this gimbal. You know what I'm saying? It has tracking mode um panorama mode uh just a lot of different things all of these triggers on the gimbal itself the record button hitting the record button from the gimbal to record from the phone hitting the record button to take portraits all of these different things um it'll have bluetooth connectivity from the gimbal to your phone but you have to be using the dji app and i really really wish dji would team up with moment which I use a lot of moments, uh, I use a lot of the moment gear, as you can see, this is a moment lens right here, this is the cinematic lens right here for the moment, the anamorphic lens rather, I'm sorry about that, this is the anamorphic moment lens, I use a lot of moments stuff, and I really like moments app, but I can't use all of the features that the gimbal comes with on the moment app, because it, there's no Bluetooth connectivity from app to the gimbal. Now, I will say this, I played with the DJI app a little bit, and I do actually like um, the user experience with the DJI app more than I like the user experience with the Xeon Smooth uh, 4's app. It's a little bit easier to use, uh, it's a little more intuitive, and uh, I just like it, it's smoother. Everything about this DJI Osmo 3 
gimbal itself is a lot smoother, I'm noticing, than a lot of the other gimbals that I've had. The setup is a lot easier. It's a lot more lightweight. It's a lot more compact. It fits in your pocket. I have to show you that right now, actually. Let me turn this off. Make sure it's off. Okay. It folds down like that. And I can literally fit this right into my pocket. Just take it right out the pocket and it's ready to go. So right now I'm about to run with this gimbal and see how shaky the image is and see if it can handle it. Um, we're gonna start off with a just a fast paced stroll and see how smooth the image is. And then we're gonna do a much faster one. I'm gonna run with all my might and we're gonna see if it can handle the shake. So this first clip is gonna be walking fast paced and see how smooth the image is. Let's go. So right now, even though I'm walking a little bit slower, I'm actually trying to walk a little bit rougher. I'm stepping on the ground a little bit harder because I wanna see how the gimbal handles rough movement. If it can handle rough movement well, then I know that when I'm being careful, it can definitely handle smoother movement. You know, we're all gonna approach using the gimbal in a smoother way. So when I first get a gimbal, I wanna put it through its motions and see how it handles rough movement. Okay, now let's try it a little bit faster. I'm gonna run this time and we're gonna see how stable the image is using the DJI Osmo. So right now, as you can see, I'm running, but I'm stepping on the ground really hard. So it's definitely gonna pick up some shake, but just keep that in mind that I'm stepping on the ground extremely hard right now because I wanna see how it handles rough movement. And I gotta say, it's handling rough movement pretty well. So speaking about that DJI app, it's right here. It's called DJI Mimo. When you get this gimbal, you're gonna wanna download the app because it's gonna unlock all the features that the gimbal itself comes with. So you just wanna click it right there. Now, my phone is already Bluetooth connected to the gimbal. I did this already earlier. So when I turn it on, it just connects right to the camera and I, and I have access to all the features right away. But when you first get the gimbal, let me go back to the home screen here. When you first get the gimbal, you're gonna be on this screen here. And in this top left corner, let me just turn this around, turn the screen into portrait mode so you can see a little bit easier. In this top left corner, you're going to see the camera and you're gonna click that and it's gonna start searching for the gimbal. So the app is gonna search for the gimbal. You don't have to go into your Bluetooth menu. You don't have to do any of that. It's gonna do it straight from the app, which automatically makes this a lot easier than some of your other gimbals. You just click that, it's gonna search for the gimbal. You're gonna hit connect, it's gonna connect. You hit connect in that far right corner. And once you connect, it's gonna be connected to your phone. And once you do that, you'll never have to do it again. Anytime you turn on this app, it'll automatically recognize your phone and connect. So we go to the, then you'll be able to go to the camera and once you're in the camera, you can unlock all the features that the uh, DJI camera comes with. So this is where you're going to really be able to dive in a little bit more into all of the different features on your gimbal and, and what all it's capable of. Everything from taking portraits to hitting record straight from the gimbal to turning to the side and using the zoom button. And when you push that zoom button, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. You hit that record button right there, it's gonna start recording. If you're on video mode, you hit it again, it'll stop recording. If you look down at the bottom of the screen here, you will see you have video mode. You click photo, you have photo mode, you click pano, you have panorama mode. Now you can mount this on your tripod or your mini tripod or your gorilla pod, whatever you have, and you go into pano mode and you can just get really clean panoramic shots. And then you can go to slow motion. It'll set up slow motion for you. you go into time lapse mode right here. Now right here it says use the tripod for better shooting results and uh, in time lapse mode. That's because um, time lapse mode is basically taking a photo every so often and um, putting all of the photos together to make a um, a video over an extended period of time so it'll look like a bunch of jump cuts throughout the day so if you ever seen those uh videos where it looks like the sky is moving really fast and it goes from being 
6 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, all in the span of two minutes or one minute, that's doing a time lapse. It's taking a bunch of photos at different points. So it could, it could take one photo every three minutes or however you set it up. But you're going to want to mount it on a tripod and put it in one specific spot so that it can... Um, it can take those photos without the camera moving, without the camera moving, and you don't have to stand there and hold it in your hand. If you click the settings tab right there, it's gonna take you to your video settings, right? Up top you see you have flash, you can turn the flash on and off. You have white ba white balance, you can turn the white balance on and off. Um, you know, you have the one press activate track, you have tracking mode. So let me show you guys what tracking mode is. This is really cool. I'm gonna put it in uh, video mode real quick sideways and I'm gonna show you what tracking mode is. Now, if you hold your finger on the screen and draw a box over a subject. So I just drew a box, you'll see it's green right there. I drew a box on that pillar over there on the far left corner. Anywhere I move with the phone, the phone will follow it. So, I would say overall, I think that the DJI Osmo 3 is a great gimbal to use. Very practical, very lightweight, very compact, very easy to use, and it has great features in the camera. The only thing I would say is to keep in mind that if you want to unlock all the features on the gimbal itself, you need to be using the DJI app. But even without the DJI app, if you just want to grab your gimbal and go and just use the uh, the um, out-the-box features that, that come with the gimbal itself and jump on the Moment app and throw your Moment lenses on there and just use the gimbal itself. The gimbal's amazing. One of the things that I noticed about the gimbal that I really enjoy is that side arm. The way the side arm on the gimbal kind of bends off to the side is perfect for shooting because if you have any wide-angle lenses on your camera, it won't pick up any piece of the gimbal because that piece of the gimbal is kind of out of the way of the lens itself and that's perfect for shooting with um, your mobile device and I think this is a goal man I think this is a great gimbal um, great value for money definitely something you guys should check out and pick up if you have any of the older DJI gimbals um, I think it's worth the upgrade uh, let me know how you feel about the gimbal um, if you've done any projects with it let me know how it handled uh, the run and gun lifestyle and um, stay tuned until my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and there's a lot more on the way. Peace.